Ooh, wow. All right, we gotta take it a little slow here. Welcome everyone to another Indie Game Collective Showcase. Today we're looking at Orb of Creation. And this one I'm really excited for because we're looking into a, um, well, another strategy game. Actually falling under casual, but also magic clicker idler? Um... Marple? Made by Marple? Let's love. Um, it's an active incremental puzzle game. You recreate the world with nothing but magic and ingenuity. You wake in a dark void. The only thing in front of you is a glowing orb. Um, the soundtrack seems to be quite on the top focus as well on this and there is no way of wrong way of playing this graphics yes nice this works well so let's have a look at it magic resource What does this do? Bind mana to the orb. Ah. Well, I think I spent all my money. 100. Learn the manifestation glyph that generates understanding. Hmm, arcane table. We've got a spell book. We have divination. Procure information and capability. Unknown spell. Discovered, gather knowledge. Wizardry, you're starting to recollect yourself and your abilities. Keys one, two, three, okay. Casting level, your proficiency in casting spells. Per casting level, non-charm spell power and non-charm cooldown spell. This is the experience that we have. We get more knowledge. Gain by casting and using spells. Okay. So you get casting XP. That makes sense. Using higher level spells generates significantly more XP. Miser- wait. Oh, misery. Oh my god. Wizardry purchased. Already discovered. Fair. Wisdom. A core mental attribute improves your mana capability. And we just purchased it. I feel like I'm just purchasing things one after another. And we have 400. Okay. This makes sense. I don't know how to explain it. But we fill it up. We fill this up. And we cast... And we gather knowledge. By casting and gathering knowledge, we get more mana. By learn gathering mana, we get new things, like a unknown spell. We can't learn it yet. We need to increase our mana. So what do we do? I guess we gather more knowledge. And then you... Increase even more. I don't know how to explain this. It's oddly intuitive, but I'm probably the worst person.
to explain this. 2.5 of this knowledge. Okay. This is how much we have. This is our casting level. So what happens if we do this? Spellbook loadout. Oh, the loadout, okay. Okay. Divining? Non-charm? All of them. Improve your mana capacity. We don't have that yet. We should be... We can't afford this yet. It's 250, so let's, like... Just learn more. Okay, so by learning more, we gain more knowledge. And it has a cooldown. That's it. Two base mana per second. This is freaking cool. So I've improved wisdom twice, which means we increase the base mana capacity. So we're at 467 now. We can learn the second spell. Explosion, widen and enlarge. Does this is this always open? by increase by toggle tooltip open inventory hmm I don't really have an inventory action multiplier set as many actions to perform at once such as buying upgrades and items shift increase step by one So what happens when I do this? But we haven't really... Oh, okay, this is how many things we can do. Hmm. I think one is okay. I find this quite chill. But I guess... Did we just learn? Ooh, and now in wizardry. So we have two casting things. Our knowledge is working, so that's the attune orb, I guess. The... Hmm. Feels like that. that's it. We can boost it a little bit. That's quite nice. Um. So these are the two spells that we have. We can have a third one. Um. Discovered, discovered. Now in wizardry, bind a mana to the orb to slowly create a feedback loop. So that's what infusion is. Wisdom is a core mental attribute. Uh, so that adds the capacity. Resilience improves your ability to, to recover and withstand. I'm not quite sure. 
how that works. An aptitude improves your ability to divide. Divine. My gosh. My gosh. Learn the manifestation glyph that creates from nothing. Unlocks conjurer. level on this so I don't know we'll need a higher level for this so I might as well increase it and resilience so the speed of our mana gathering is much higher too I believe I don't know if I'm phrasing this right because I can see what's happening as we're going along This is kind of what we've been doing. But I cannot. A feedback loop. Conjure. this spell. Whirling Divination. Whirling Divination is a charm level 1. These ones are also still level 1. Inspiration at incredible speeds. I got a bit of higher casting level there. Super cool. I have no clue what's happening though. Honestly. It's it's hard to say, but I will I will, I will, I will um, mention a couple of things that are said about this game. Um so it is a simple yet engaging spell cast system. How you cast and configure spell will greatly impact the end result. Oh boy. A vast sandbox of magic, artifacts, and alchemy that synergize and create endless opportunities for exploration. Incremental puzzle solving. You're given an abundant amount of options and it's up to you to figure out how you want to earn them and use them. That makes sense. How do I get my knowledge of glyphs you can use to create a smell spell hmm unlock storm but that's not something I need constantly expand the gameplay where every new layer intertwines with the last I feel like currently I'm intertwining everything Two knob mastery leveled up. Cool. Play how you want. You can take your time and refer to the world at your leisure, or aim for efficiency and speed by optimizing your strategies, or tinker with explosive combinations. And complete goals instantly. No hand holding. Discover the orb's complexity and depth at your own pace. That's what I meant by I have no clue what's going on, but it, it it's totally fine. <laughs> Hmm. 
each master raid level increases its spells max. Increases the spell's classification levels. After mastering a spell, you can pay to increase its spell level. Leveling up your spells will improve your spell's power, cooldown, and cost. Overall, this ends up trading a spell's mana efficiency for time efficiency. Your mana pool will be constantly growing in speed and capacity. A higher level spell generates far more mastery XP and casting level as well as spell classification levels. As you master your spells, you will improve your classification level with those spell types. Each classification level will improve the spell power of all spells with that classification. This means it is worth using spells just to increase their mastery and improve your spell power. Hmm. So divine is information capability. Non charm, charm classification. So, huh? We have so much knowledge now that we could go for Nova spells. Enjoy a beautiful soundtrack as you weave magic and create the old world. What is this? Oh. I want to learn it. Expand magic. Hmm. Ah, this is, by the way, a clicker and an early access game. Um. The dev say. Orb of Creation is a um, fairly long game, but it's still incomplete. There's so much more potential for content and refinement. How long do they play, plan it to be in early access? Um, when there's a solid endpoint, um, the full version will upgrade more spells, more alchemy, general content. Um, the current state is enjoy 20 plus hours of active incremental puzzle solving fun. Um, so what are we trying? So what is our goal here? That's the thing. I mean, we don't, um, also, we don't really, we haven't really made a plan. We've got some, a new spell here that we could, hmm, mm -hmm. we need more. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely would need more. Dog went slot onto your table. Level up spells. Let's see what expend magic does. Oh, that's expensive. Oops. Ooh. Thama Thaumaturgy. Mag magical capability. Soft caps after a thousand. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Attitude. Okay. Augment spells. Level up spells. We need that. 
So how do we... Gotta infuse this. Hmm. Yeah, we need to... I see how this is going. This is super cool. This is super relaxing. Like, there, nothing happens after after we do this, and we can infuse it. Eh, we want some more. And then hope that. Hmm. I mean, yeah. What do you choose? If you want to click less. Then yes, definitely. And it depends how you use your mana. This is really nice. I like it. Intellect. Mmm. Base knowledge. I like this. This gives us a bit more of this, I think. I don't know how whether that was a good choice. But this, uh, to, uh, this expand magic. Super, super cool, I think. Again, I, I, I can't explain it. But it's pretty cool, I like it. Um, super cool. Link to the game is in the description box. And I wonder if how many people are cringing at this right now. Or just thinking like, my gosh, this is bad. Um also I don't know if I hmm. if I should add a tune orb here. Because a tune orb was just really good for what was it? This. And then eventually... Yeah, but I set it to one because I don't want to be able to do too many things, to be honest. Nice. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I do like it. I don't know. There's something really mesmerizing about this. The soundtrack is super nice. I feel like it's tuned down a little bit compared to the beginning. But it's definitely something for our long day after work or studying that you just want to click around, or if you're watching other YouTube stuff, or streamers, or similar, um, or watching a TV show, but you kind of don't want to do something on the side and you can't keep your focus, grab this. Put it on your wish list. Um, again, a big shout out to the Indie Game Collective. Oh, non charm. We don't have non charm. Hmm. I really don't know what that means yet. Um, oh, here we go. <laughs> and Marvel Games. Thank you so much for this. We'll see where this goes. And let me know if this is something you'd like to see in a live stream. Or whether you really just, like, didn't mind seeing this once. Um, and we'll have a look at it by, by ourselves. Thanks for watching if you've made it this far. And see you next time. Bye-bye!